So we have added a couple of models which are going to represent the database tables, but we have still not added any relation between them. So like how is a movie related to a cinema, how is a producer related to a movie, etc. So, so far we have created the cinema model for the cinemas table. We have the movies, we have the producers, and we have the actors. Now, here when you wanted to create a movie, you could see that from the cinema drop down, you could select only one cinema, and from the movie producers, also a single producer. And in the movie actors, you can see that you can select more than one actor. What this means is that a movie can be purchased from a single cinema and a movie has a single producer, but a movie can have multiple actors. In terms or in the database relationship terms, this means that between the cinemas and the movies, we have a one-to-many relationship. So a cinema can have multiple movies, but a movie can be purchased from a single cinema. The same goes for the producers. So a movie can have a single producer, but a producer can produce multiple movies. So we have a relationship one to many. But between movies and actors, we have a many to many because a movie could have multiple actors and an actor could play in multiple movies. Now, when we have a many to many relationship, we introduce a new concept, the join tables or the join models. So basically we split the many to many into two relationships. So two, one, two many's. So in the middle, we are going to have the actors movies join model or the join table in the database. And then we are going to have a one to many relationship between the movies and the actors movies and the same relationship. So one to many between actors and the actors movies. So now let us go to Visual Studio and define all these relationships in our code. And here we are going to start with the producers. So in here I'll just go to the models and then here go to the producer. And then down here I'll just type relationship or just relationships. And then this is going to be a property of type list. So we said that a producer can have multiple movies. So movie. And we are going to name it movies. And that's all you need to do in here. Now let us go to the cinemas. And then here, so cinema. And the same goes for the cinema. So relationships. So prop a list of movie. So cinema can have a list of movies. And now we are going to define the many-to-many -many relationship, but for that we need to introduce a joining table or a joining model in the C sharp side. So for that, inside the models, just add a new class. I'm going to name this class the actor underscore movie and then click add and this table is just going to store the movie id and the actor id so prop int movie id and also the prop int actor id now since this is between the movies and the actors table or the actors model we are going to define the relationship between the actors' movies to the movies and the actors. And here we have that movies can have multiple actors' movies, but an actor movie can have a single movie or it can have a single actor. So in here I'll just type public movie and then just movie, then get set. And we're going to have the same for the actor. So prop and then actor. That is going to be just actor. Now let us go to the actor model. I'll just go to the actor. And then down here I'm going to add the relationships. So for that I'll just type in here prop. And this is going to be a list of actor underscore movie. 
and the name of the property is going to be actors underscore movies. Now let us save the changes in here and go to the last model, which is the movie model. And then inside here, we are also going to define the relationships. So the first relationship is going to be the list of the actors movies. So prop list the actor underscore movie. The property name is going to be actors underscore movies. And then we have a relation with the cinema. So we have a one to many relationship. So the cinema that is going to be prop and that will be just a cinema and then here just cinema. But we are also going to define in here the foreign key and that is going to be the cinema ID. So it's basically the same logic as in the actor movie. So now we have the relationship with the movie, but we need to define the foreign key that is going to be the ID in the movie model. Now the entity framework core is smart enough to know that when you have in here a movie and a movie ID, this is the foreign key for the movie model. But if you want, you can also use data annotations to define the foreign key. And let us actually apply that in the movie. So in here we have the cinema. Let us also create the foreign key that is going to be a prop of type integer and the name is going to be cinema ID. And now you can decorate the cinema property with the foreign key annotation. So just foreign key. And then just import the namespace and the namespace is the component model dot data annotations dot schema. And then in here you can define the foreign key name. And in this case, it is the cinema ID. So you can either leave the default one and the different more core will figure that out or you can just define the foreign key in here. Now the other relation in here is the producer. So I'll just copy the cinema, control C, just paste it in here. We have the producer and this is going to be now the producer. The name is going to be producer. This is going to be now the producer ID and then in here producer ID. And now this is all you need to do to define the relationship. So you have the one to many and the many to many relationships for which you need to define a joining table or a joining model. And in our case, that is the actor underscore movie. Now for the many to many relationships, you need to also add some indications or some instructions to the translator. And the translator we have said is the AppDB context file. So let us just go to the solution explorer and then here go to the AppDB context. Just after the constructor, we are going to override the on model creating method. So I'll just type in here protected, then override, then void on model creating. And this will take as a parameter the model builder and we can just name it model builder now inside here i'll first type base dot on model creating and then pass the model builder to the base class so just model builder and this is going to be necessary when we are going to generate the default authentication tables because this way we do not need to manually define the identifiers. So in here, I'm just first going to define the actor movie. So model builder dot entity. And this is going to be a configuration for the actor underscore movie. Let us import the namespace and that is the etiquettes dot models. And for this entity, we are going to define a compound. So like a combination of primary keys for that has key. And then this is going to be a M. So actor movie. And that is going to be new. 
and then we have the am so am dot actor id and the second parameter is the am dot movie id now let us also define the actor movie to be the joining table or the joining model in the c sharp side so model builder dot entity then pass as a parameter the actor movie and then we are going to say that the actor movie has one and then in here we have one movie so m that goes to m dot movie which has many so with many and then a m that goes to m that actors movies and then you can also define the foreign key has the foreign key and the foreign key is going to be the m that goes to m dot movie id so we define the movie side now let us also define the relationship one to many with the actor side so i'll just copy this one and just paste it down here and then here change the has one to be actor and the actor has many actor movies with the foreign key actor id now the last thing that you need to do in here is that you need to define the table names for each model and that is just after the on model creating I'm just going to type prop and the type is going to be a db set then you are going to pass as a parameter the model so let's say actor and then in here you need to define the table name for the actor model so actors and you need to do the same for the other models so let us say we have the movies so movie the table name is going to be movies then we have the actor underscore movie the table name is going to be actors underscore movies then you have the cinema the table name is going to be cinemas then you have the producer and the table name is going to be producers so producers and this is all you need to do in this part